In this example, I want to use an existing tool to finish the sidewall surfaces of this area here. I have these surfaces saved on a separate level to make it easier to select and machine them. So if I select them now, I already have a contact point boundary created. I can go ahead and set up my constant Z finishing toolpath. I'll leave the settings as they are and hit calculate. So now that we have our toolpath, we can see that there are a lot of air moves. This will probably give us a less than ideal surface finish and will also increase the machining time. What I ideally want is a constant Z offset, however, with a continuous smooth toolpath. I can get this by using the Swarf Finishing Toolpath strategy. This strategy can be used when the top and bottom edge of a surface are parallel to each other. So if I select the surfaces again, I can then go into my strategy selector and choose Swarf Machining. Once in the form, I need to switch multiple cuts onto Merge Mode. I'm also going to set the tool axis to be vertical at all times. I can go ahead and calculate that now. Now that it is calculated, we can see that we have a much more fluid toolpath with a minimal amount of lifts. If we focus on this particular area here, instead of the toolpath lifting across the gap, Swarf Finishing is set to exactly follow the upper edge or the lower edge, or in this case, by setting the option to merge, it follows both.